I'm going to tell you why I think Lucid Motors will likely fail. But wait, Lucid Motors has been one of the most highly anticipated EV startups over the last couple of years. This is because they already have a working prototype, they've already taken pre-orders and plan to deliver cars later this year, and the electric vehicle space is probably the most hyped up sector in the market. We saw this displayed in the stock price of CCIV when there was speculation that they would be merging with Lucid Motors. But now that that merger is complete and Lucid Motors is preparing to deliver vehicles, I would like to get into some of the reasons why Lucid Motors will likely fail. That is because of economies of scale. Simply put, economies of scale is the advantage companies have when they make their production the most efficient. This increases production, lowers cost, and increases profit from each unit of production. Economies of scale is nearly impossible to achieve, and this causes a ton of problems for a company in the car sector. A great example of this is Tesla. I'm sure you've heard of the stories of Tesla being only weeks away from bankruptcy multiple times in their lifespan. All of the examples of this is when Tesla was trying to reach economies of scale. In 2013, Tesla produced 22,000 cars, and in 2020, that number increased to over half a million. This is because their factories have reached the ability to produce a ton of cars extremely efficiently. This lowered their cost of production and allowed them to finally post a profit. So why can't Lucid Motors do the same? The first reason that Lucid will unlikely be able to reach this level of efficiency is competition. Unlike Tesla, who was really the first focused electric vehicle company with over 10 years of time to penetrate the market, Lucid Motors is in a sense late to the party. Nowadays, there are hundreds of companies worldwide that are trying to catch up with Tesla. However, none of these companies or startups have the same experience with scaling their production. And even though Lucid Motors had a strong injection of capital between the Saudi Arabian Investment Fund and a SPAC merger, there will be a point in time where they are going to have to weather a storm to achieve the same level of efficiency. In fact, Lucid hasn't even had to face their first challenge yet. They still have not delivered a single car to an end consumer, and rolling out this first stage of deliveries will prove difficult enough. On top of this, we have the CEO Peter Rawlinson dodging a lot of questions regarding the timeline for Lucid's deliveries. Peter, right, Peter, start of production, but are you on track for 20,000 vehicles in 2022? We're on very much on track for our plan. Uh, we're, we're aiming for over 577 vehicles this year and uh, a, a significant increase throughout next year as, as we grow the business. Despite all of the hype still surrounding electric vehicles, I think the time for EV-focused companies has passed. I say this because legacy automakers like Ford, General Motors, and Volkswagen are now promising to focus their efforts on electric vehicles. And going back to economies of scale, it will be much easier for these companies I just mentioned to shift their focus to the production of EVs than it will be for Lucid Motors to start this process from the ground up. We've seen all of these companies' respective stocks rise over the past year as they have announced they will be fully electric within the next 10 years and these companies have the financial ability to make this a reality. These brands are already household names to almost everybody in the world, and that's a luxury that Lucid Motors simply does not have. As I get into the third reason Lucid Motors will not likely succeed, I just want to mention that a lot of research goes into these videos before I make them, so if you wouldn't mind paying me back with a like, it would be much appreciated. Even if Lucid is able to compete with the likes of Tesla, GM, and Ford, among others, it will run into another problem, and that is money. Currently, their factory in Arizona is only able to produce about 30,000 cars per year, and that's a long shot from the hundreds of thousands of cars that these other companies are able to produce. With this problem, there is a serious concern as to whether or not Lucid Motors will be able to afford to meet its deadlines. As I've shown in past videos, Lucid has already delayed deliveries once, and they continue to dodge delivery date questions. So who knows whether or not they will be able to raise enough money from these initial vehicle sales to continue their operation. One factory with the ability to produce 30,000 cars per year is just not on the same playing field as these other automakers. So I'm hoping that you're starting to see the inherent risks with investing in a company like Lucid Motors. And that risk is super amplified by the fact that the company trades at a market cap of almost 40 billion. And this already values it at only about $16 billion less than Ford. This market cap already factors in the success of Lucid over the next few years. And as I'm hoping, this video showed that that success is in no way a promise. And I think this valuation currently is kind of ridiculous. But if you want to hear more about the story of Lucid Motors and their rise in popularity, go ahead and check out these videos. Until next time, this has been Tech Investing.